So styled outfits, by the way. Right. Very cool, very cool. Now, uh, we need you to go back to your sensory deprivation tank while we show the movie. They're actually not going to be watching the movie with us, so just this is the last time you will see them. They have school. But we will all be out uh, after. All right, thank you, everyone. Thanks, Janet. All right. Thanks. Hey. The, 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 oh, you know, the movie's hilarious. The casting is fantastic. Can you talk about casting your cast? Sure. Uh, we, we were very into Jacob Tremblay for this role. He'd never done a comedy before, but with that face and with those lines, it just seemed like maybe magic could happen. And we Skyped with him, and we've never done this before. We Skyped with him, and then we Skyped with his parents, uh, which doesn't happen when you cast Willem Dafoe. Um, <laughs> So we had Jacob, and then we spent... And then eight months later. Eight months later, we found <laughs> these two guys and who were amazing. And, but we were, we were looking for kids from Europe, there were uh, Canadians, there were Americans, and uh, yeah, it took forever, but we were so psyched that we found these guys. Yes. So you've, I've noticed you've got your ad campaign going about uh, making a movie that they can't see, although... They just did, didn't they? What? <laughs> Don't tell anyone. That's a secret for here. <laughs> right, well, hypothetically, if you know what that means, how is how is it going? <laughs> Can we? Yeah. That's the Take it away. If I'm being honest, I am shocked and appalled. <laughs> 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 a PG-rated family movie. <laughs> he lied, and I am just so mad. <laughs> I think we all know if it was going to be a PG movie that it would be four seconds long. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed the movie and that you all enjoyed yourselves. put a lot of work into this production and I'm really happy on how it came out, so. Yeah. And I do see the irony. It is called Good Boys, but we're really like bad boys. <laughs> no guys, just keep talking. We don't need to say anything. You guys keep going. We can take some. We have a little bit of time for audience questions too. There are mics in the aisles if you'd like to. Stand up and ask a question you're welcome to. Um, uh, I, uh, well, <laughs> the, um, I, I am actually. Uh, but the, let's, let's welcome boys to men to the stage. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, never did somebody else is cleverer than me. Go ahead. First. Hey, awesome job, guys. You guys were so funny. Um, I'm uh, curious. Um, I caught a couple like references to like some R-rated movies and then like some other like coming of age movies from like the 80s and 90s. I'm like guessing that frat scene where they're like in the drug that was like boogie nights. I'm guessing, right? Okay. Yeah. Good eye. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, I'm just wondering if you guys like any had any other references to any other like coming of age or like other R-rated movies. I mean, we talked about we talked about the movie being our, our goal at least was. Uh, like a live action South Park. We talked a lot about Superbad. Uh, we talked a lot about The Hangover. Mm -hmm. We kind of like putting the kids in danger and them coming out of it. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Stand By Me. Yeah. Stranger Things, not a movie, but still counts. <laughs> Thank you. Well, actually, did the kid, did you show, did you show the cast certain films to prep them at all? What did you guys say? Uh, me and Keith were actually really eager to work with uh, Seth and everyone else. So, and everyone else who did the production of Superbad, so we did get consent to watch Superbad and we had a summer party. And what, yeah, we got consent, as I said in the movie. Um, so we got consent to watch that and it was, it was a lot of fun. We had a summer party that night, so. Yeah. <laughs> Love the film. Um, I'm glad you guys included the message of consent. That's very important. Um, yeah, yeah. My question is, how much did you tell the boys about the objects they were handling? <laughs> <laughs> or did you? 
There was very little context uh, for, usually with actors, you, you know, they want to talk about their process. Uh, thankfully, in this one, there was less of that, and we did not encourage it. So there was a lot of like, why don't you ask your mom the questions that you're asking us? A lot of passing the buck to mom. Nice jacket. Go ahead. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I literally wore this jacket to make that joke, but I'm gonna say this. Y'all might have made a classic. I'm, I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that out in the universe. I'm gonna put that out. In the Okay, um, my question. <sighs> no, I'm, 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 I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. As far as taking, as, as far as using the conduit of what Superbad is as a story of friend, friends coming to terms with change and reconvincing that friendship, what else did you kind of use as your techniques to kind of invert that story into your own, into your own enigma? Gene? Can I answer that tomorrow? Uh, I, you can send me an email. Uh, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's still an enigma, to be honest. Uh, you know, we, I mean, we have really smart people helping us on this thing, and uh, we leaned on them a lot. Um, I'll try. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this will be slightly better than that. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll try. Uh, I don't know what Enigma is, but I understood the rest of it. Um, I think we really want to tell a story about that very specific time, and so you've seen a lot of those movies. You've seen the versions of these that are high school movies, um, and we wanted to go younger, and these kids are very certain about their friendships, but it's that time where you're not gonna be friends with the people that you're necessarily friends with at that time, and it is a lot of logistics, and you are friends with people because they live in your neighborhood or because their parents or friends or whatever, and it starts to be around sixth grade that you start, I was into karate, and that's why I was so cool. And you, you know, everyone kind of finds their thing, and then you become friends with your karate people, and the basketball kids hang out, and the theater kids, and I think that this is the beginning. They don't, they don't really know where they are, and so they're, they're kind of clinging to each other, but they're also, uh, they're also moving on. Sure, thank you. Also, I want to, I want to say this to Seth Rogen, and also you, Evan Goldberg. Yeah. <laughs> like, as I explained about Superbread, that movie taught me film. Honestly, that, that movie, like, I mean, there's many other films, but that movie, like, that's the first movie I broke down and taught me film, and I want to thank you guys for making that. My name's Mario. That, that changed my life. And Seth Rogen, I've been a fan of yours since Freaks and Geeks I did. We gonna meet in the future. One I love. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm a fragile man and can use all the support I get. So I appreciate appreciate that. Also, I want to say one thing. We did karate together. We did karate together. We were that lame joke. That was us. What's funny? Did it? Did you? When this came up, were you thinking, "Oh, why didn't we think of that"? This uh, was for yeah, this whole thing. Uh, yeah. No, it, it, it was actually like. It, it, it was something that we found kind of irresistible because, like, the truth is... Seen again, you can tell that I'm... <laughs> um, there were, there were many favorite scenes, but I would have to say the frat house uh, is one of my favorite scenes because that was the first time I got to break a paddle over my back, over someone's back, <laughs> who wasn't my brother. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun, so that was my favorite scene. I would have to say my favorite scene is probably uh, the scene where we're in the park. The park? Yeah. The scene where we're in the park when I'm like, you had us bring drugs to a playground? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. For actually for, oh, go ahead. Did I interrupt you? I, I'm just Molly and Amadori. It's kind of like, was this super fun or super annoying? Acting with these. Oh. <laughs> no, it was amazing. They're incredible. And the biggest challenge was deciding if I would explain what they asked me. 
Yeah, I was a former babysitter and half of this summer felt a lot like that job, as opposed to acting. But um, yeah, they're lovely children. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. So I want to know, did you guys or you guys have to like convince your parents to let you do this or were they super cool about it? My parents were, were all for it. <laughs> Because I had never done a comedy before, I think, because I like to do a, a bunch of, I like to do a whole bunch of different genres of movies. So, I read the script with my parents. <laughs> I didn't. I did. <laughs> Because <laughs> it, it was a lot of fun because I like playing uh, all different personalities with my characters, so I thought it was a really cool experience in order to be be able to swear. Because oh yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not none of us are allowed to swear at all at home. Or we get punished. It was kind of hard for me because I didn't want to do it at first because of all the swearing and stuff. So. <laughs> But my mom just told me to like pray about it and it's just <laughs> And that's your answer on who's the real good boy here. Go ahead. brilliant and it was also so frugal in the best way possible <laughs> like every joke drove the story forward there was not a moment wasted and I was just wondering what other jokes or scenes were left out of the final cut oh wait yeah I know <laughs> <laughs> wait, all right, so <laughs> there's a scene where we were at the mall right right oh, all right all right so, but there was a scene where we were at the mall and we had, um, we had like this whole choreographed thing where we would uh, jam out to, to Bang Bang by Jesse J. <laughs> and we would stand on top of tables with ketchup bottles and we would just jam out to Jesse J. If we could, we'd perform that whole thing right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's enough room here, and, and, and it's, it's no. a bit clean. I don't feel like messing it up right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, hmm. <laughs> well, probably uh, the ball pit scene. There was a ball pit scene. Yeah. That one really took so That's long. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. Well, there was like a dancing scene, a ball pit scene, where we were like in a ball pit, and it was a lot. <laughs> you're the only um, somewhat uh, like tweens or teens in the entire ball pit, and after like a bunch of six-year-olds jumped in, and it made us yeah. look like. And I threw up in the ball pit. Okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> you ate pizza that was in the ball yeah, pit. I bet. <laughs> that was scripted. And then there, and then after that, there's a dancing scene. We go, we go into like a whole dance to like, a, like on the stage, and like the robots are like singing a song or whatever. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah next question. <laughs> this is all be fun, but actually, this is the last question. Go ahead. Uh, hey, so I love the balance of having, I guess, it's not so mean it's actually not mean-spirited at all and these kids are saying these things but they're not but it's all in a good spirit and there's the whole anti-drug thing and the whole anti-bullying thing and i was wondering what it was like and how important it was to create that balance for kind of, and that question is kind of for everyone 
Uh, it was very important not to, uh, you know, we don't love mean humor. I, I have to give credit to uh, Point Grey as well, because I think that's part of their brand. It's not nasty, it's not mean humor that puts people down, but I guess, what, I don't know, uplifting humor? Uh, but it's it's very, it's sweet, and it's not at the expense, uh, you know, it, it punches up, it doesn't punch down. Um, and I think they brought a lot of that to the script. Well, this was incredibly fun for us. Uh, another, another just great adventure, entertainment. It's just the, everybody, cast. Thank you, you guys are fantastic creators. You guys are great. Thank you guys so much.